Hi Dresser Kitties, Wendy here. Today we're going to draw a Jack Russell Terrier. So let's get started. To draw this super cute dog, let's first start by drawing a curve for the top of the head. So I'm going to come right here and we're just going to draw a soft curve. To so about right here, let's go ahead. About this wide. And then from there, I'm going to draw the very uh, special floppy ears, right? So then right here, let's work on this side first. I'm going to go up just a little bit at an angle right there. And then I'm going to bring them down at an angle. And then we're going to come back to about right here, just giving it a little edge. And I'm going to curve and come down and right here. Let's bring this down. And we're just kind of creating this uh, triangular shape. So let's come right here, curve. Curve and round it off at a tip right there. So same thing on this side. So about right here, it's going to be the other point. And then we're going to go up. Maybe it's a little bit easier to see on this side. Go up and then we're going to come down an angle. And just like the other side, about right here, I'm going to go ahead and come down. And then once again, I'm going to curve and come out and connect once again. So about the same area on the other side. So about right there. And connect. There, so I have two ears in. Then from there, I'm gonna come back and say about right here towards the bottom, this little tip area here and here. This is where I'm going to basically kind of draw this angle coming down. So I just want to draw this tentatively first, just a little bit about right there. Then I'm going to come back in and draw so I know where kind of where to put the eyes. So I'm going to put the eyes about right here where the tip of the ears are in this shape right here. So this is where the eyes are going to go. So let's say about right here. I'm going to go ahead and draw a circle. I just, it was a little bit tricky for me to draw this Jack Russell Terrier. I've always had, I just always feel like dogs are so much harder to draw and I did struggle. But hopefully in the end, you like how this dog turned out. My drawing of this terrier turned out. And so same thing on the other side, about right here. You can always start with the eyes, but I just felt like it was easier to get in the ears first and then put in the eyes. But just play around with it. You feel more comfortable drawing the eyes first and then going around to put up the ears. That's always good too. So, okay, so now I have my two circles in for the eyes right in between this little area right here. I'm gonna come in here and make them draw so cute eyes. So two small circles for highlights and a curve line at the bottom. And thank you for encouraging me over the years to keep drawing dogs for you. There, and same thing over here. Oh, and lines at the bottom, <laughs> I forgot to say that. So two small circles inside for highlights, curve line at the bottom, shade in the top. And lines at the bottom there. So then from there, I'm going to come up right about here and just draw a soft curve over each eye. Then let's draw the nose. So in between the eyes, let's bring it down a little bit. So let's say about right here. I'm just going to go ahead and draw this big nose. Make it extra cute. So I'm going to round it off right between the eyes. So about right there. And then connect at the bottom. A soft V. And I'll come in here with a highlight right at the top. So big oval and shade everything else in so you can see a little bit better. There. So then from there, let's find our center. This little part right here. And we're going to come down with a straight line. So about that wide. 
Then from there, here was my tricky part. I'm going to come back into here. So actually, let's come back here and we're going to draw a curve and another curve right here. So this is going to round off. So let's come back into this shape. We're going to be basically kind of angling it down. So let's come about right here. See the top of our nose. We're going to continue the angle and then about right here. If you like, you can kind of wait, curve it out a little bit and then round it off. So it's very, very subtle. And I'm going to go ahead and connect it just to make it extra pouty right here in the cheek area right there. So same thing here. If you're not comfortable doing that, you can just go ahead and go straight and then just bring it in. But just very slightly about right here. I'm going to cave it in a little bit and then pout it out. There. Okay, so then now that we have that, let's come in between right here. And this is where you could put a tongue if you wanted, but I'm just going to keep mine simple today. And I'll just go ahead and connect it right here with a soft curve. And then you can come in here and make this part a little bit darker for the mouth. Oh, that's so cute, right? And when you color it and you put in the markings right here where this part is white, it'll make it look even more like a Jack Russell Terrier. Okay, so then from there, the hardest part is done. Let's work on the body. So let's say about right here, kind of like where it starts to curve. I'm gonna come right here and draw two curved lines down for the body. So about right there, I'm gonna bring this down. They're small dogs, so we're not going to make this too big. So let's bring this down back and forth and say about right there. I'll stop and I'll come to about right here. I'm going to give our puppy here, Jack Russell Terrier, a very thick paw. So about right here, I'm going to bring this down about here. Bring this down. So same thing here for the front legs. And here. There. So then about right here, I'm going to pop this part out for a paw. And this is just going to continue down and connect. I'm going to come right here and draw two curves. So same thing on this side. Just pop it out a little bit. Bring this down and connect. there and then let's come in between about well, right here and we're just going to draw a curve to connect and then for the back so let's come about right here and curve it down bring it in same thing about right here and then we're going to pop it out once again for the back and in i'll just add one curve so same thing on the other side about right here Pop it down and the back and a curve there. And I just felt it needed a tail, right? I'm not, <laughs> I'm just, was, I had the hardest time with this tail too. I'm like, where should I put it? But I'm going to stick it right here, kind of like where this curve is. And hopefully it makes sense to you. But I'm just going to bring out this curve, round it off. I just felt I needed a tail and come right back in and of course because my uh, puppy dog here is very much loved I'll give him a collar so I'll come back in here about right here and I'll just go ahead and connect the curve right underneath and I'll pop this part out just a little bit if you want to give your terrier a collar as well. And then right in the center, we'll add a little heart. There. 
And that is pretty much it for my drawing here of a Jack Russell Terrier. And thank you cuties for always inspiring me to draw more dogs for you. And I really hope I helped you draw him fun and easy today. And if I did, please make sure to give me a like and subscribe so you won't miss any new Draw So Cute videos. See you later.